What's up guys, welcome back to another Fit AP video. Today, we're gonna be learning if drinking coffee can get you abs. All right guys, let's hop right in. So, the first way that you can implement coffee into your diet to effectively help you get leaner is by also implementing intermittent fasting. Now, what inter intermittent fasting does, essentially, is it gives you a period of when you're gonna eat and when you're not. Usually, and what makes most sense, is that you leave an eight hour window after you wake up before your first meal. Now, eight is a little bit long. You could go six or even five hours. Basically, any wait time from when you wake up to have your first meal is gonna help you eat less calories and keep yourself in that deficit so that you can cut off that fat. Now, why I say bring coffee into this is because coffee, if you just get like an Americano or a black coffee, it's got very low calories, two to five calories max. Now, if you have that right away in the morning, it's a low calorie way to get your day started off, give you a little kick in the butt with that caffeine, as well as combat that hunger throughout the day. Now, instead of having a full breakfast, you just have a cup of coffee and maybe use some water and you're good to go. In addition to coffee, sparkling water, and just drinking a lot of water throughout the day is a great way to combat hunger so you can really implement that intermittent fasting. I've got another tip for combating that hunger throughout the intermittent fasting, and that is finding low calorie snacks. Now, ideally, you wouldn't want to eat anything in that window, but it can be really hard. If you're used to eating breakfast right away your entire life, it's gonna be hard not to eat anything until five or six o'clock in the afternoon. So, what I went ahead and did when I started was I was looking for low calorie snacks. Now, pretty much everyone knows that celery has like no calories at all. It's basically just crunchy water. And then, you have Greek yogurt. Now, Greek yogurt has depending on what brand you get, between like 60 and 100 calories per serving. So what I would do is I would use the Greek yogurt as a kind of dip for the celery. It might sound gross, but you guys gotta try it. It's a low calorie way to kind of trick your brain into thinking you're eating more food than you are. But really, every time you take a bite, it's really only five, six, maybe 10 calories. So that's a great way to kind of combat that hunger throughout the day. All right guys, let's move back on to coffee because there's tons of health benefits just from drinking coffee you probably don't even know about. I found this website that links all the coffee benefits that have been backed up by research. So let's go through these. Coffee helps prevent against diabetes, Parkinson's, liver disease, heart health. It can be, it's proven to be life prolonging. It can prevent against liver disease, multiple sclerosis or MS, which is potentially disabling disease of the brain and spinal cord and central nervous system, as well as preventing against colon and rectum cancer. Now, this is just phenomenal. In addition to all the disease preventions that coffee helps with, there's tons of antioxidants and nutrition in it that are gonna help you feel better throughout the day and make sure that your body has what it needs to run properly. Just from drinking some more coffee. So in addition to helping you get through that intermittent fast, it's also good for you. So I, I really suggest implementing this tip into your diet. All right guys, this was a short one. Just wanted to make sure everybody knew about the benefits of coffee and intermittent fasting. I'll be coming out with a full video on intermittent fasting, so keep an eye out so you guys can learn more about that. It's a great way to make your diet easier, better, and last longer. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Fit AP, and I'll see you next time.